We're going to start working towards solving two-step equations. But first we need to be very sure that we can read an expression that involves two steps. Let's have a look at something like this. Here we have an equation that says x over 3 plus 4 is equal to 9. What does this mean? Well, we start by taking a number x. What's the first thing we do to that x? Well, the first thing is that we're going to be dividing it by 3. And then after we've done that, we then do the next step, which is to add 4. And finally, we say then we get our answer of 9. Now we know that the order in which things have been done to x is divide 3, then add 4. We can then go about solving for x by simply reversing the process, looking for the inverse operations. So what we need to do is, firstly, we need to subtract the 4. And we'll get 5. And then we need to multiply by 3. And we'll get our solution that x is equal to 15. Looking at a different example, here again we say we're going to start with x. So if I take some number x, what's the first thing we're doing to x? Well, in this case, the first thing that we're doing is adding 4. After we've added 4 to x, then we divide that whole thing by 3. And finally, we get our answer of 9. Now I know the order in which things are done, I can simply work backwards to undo the things that have been done in order to work out the solution. So I use my inverse operations. So first, I need to multiply by 3. And that will give me that x plus 4 is now 27. Then I need to subtract 4 and I'll get my solution to the equation x is equal to 23. OK, let's do one final example. If we have 3 times x minus 2 is equal to negative 15 and we want to solve for x, we must just start working backwards until we can get x on its own on the left-hand side. So the first thing we're going to do is to divide the left-hand side by 3. And obviously, if we do that to the left, we have to do it to the right-hand side too. And that will get us that x minus 2 is equal to negative 5. We still want to get x just on itself on the left, so what we're going to need to do is add 2, and obviously we must do that to the right-hand side as well. And then we'll get to our solution that x is equal to negative 5 plus 2, which will be negative 3.